Well, Faye, firstly, uh, a two-one defeat here at Fleetwood. What did you make of the game? Well, obviously, we're disappointed to lose. I think, obviously, conceding from two set pieces as well. I uh, was disappointed. I don't think there was much in the game, to be honest. Uh, but, yeah, hopefully Tuesday we can put it right. Scrappy game. Archetypal League One fixture in the end, wasn't it? Yeah, like I said, there wasn't much difference between the two teams, I think. Um, the difference was, obviously, they scored two goals from set pieces. We scored a good goal, but ultimately, obviously, they scored more than us. And when you when that happens, obviously, you, you're going to be on the wrong side of the result. So, Tuesday we have to look to put it right. What's the gaff had to say in the aftermath of that one? Yeah, similar to what I said, really. The set pieces let us down. Uh, I don't think they've done anything to win the game. It's more us, you know, kind of gifting them two goals. But, um, yeah, we just have to move forward now. Once Niall got Doncaster back within a goal, did you think that maybe uh, it was written for you to come on and, and score an equaliser? Yeah, of course, every game we want to come on and help the team. I think second half, we were the better team, definitely dominate possession, control the game. But obviously, we just couldn't get that second goal which was uh, disappointing. What did you think on your, on your debut? What was it like to make that first start for Doncaster? Yeah, it was a good feeling, obviously, to get on the pitch and looking forward to just the rest of the season now and contributing for the team. So explain what this week's been like then from, from your point of view. How's it gone? Yeah, obviously, it's uh, just been rushing up here, packing bags to sign and getting straight in. But now I'm all settled and just looking forward to getting on the pitch and helping the team. How long had you known about Doncaster's interest? Uh, it was it was going on from the start of the, the window to be honest. It's, it was in the pipeline from then, and I was just waiting for um, things to get agreed between the clubs. So obviously it got done at the end of the window, and I'm signed now. So I'm just looking forward. Yeah, any nervy moments? You thought that oh, actually this this might not happen? <laughs> not really. I was just waiting really, um, and then it's done now. So I'm just looking forward. It's, it's a part and parcel of football. So I'm ready now to start as a Doncaster player. Do well. Were there potentially other options available to you? Yeah, but um, Doncaster was the only place I wanted to come, and, um, and I'm here now and I'm happy. So yeah. What do you make to Darren Moore and, and the squad that's here at Doncaster? Yeah, great, great um, group of lads, and uh, welcomed me really well. And obviously the gaffer as well made me feel wanted, and um, I'm just looking forward to repaying everyone um, for the faith they've shown in me bringing me here. And where do you see yourself fitting into this? I mean. Darren's mentioned there's a game every three days I think from now until the end of the season exactly exactly. we're going to need everyone and um, everyone's going to have to contribute as much as they can and I'm no different so just want to help the team as much as I can in three weeks today you'll be going back to uh, your old stomping ground at Shrewsbury what will that be like yeah we'll see we'll see at the moment just focus on the games in front of us and then um, take it one game at a time finally from me in terms of fitness and how, how soon before we can expect you to, to get a full 90 or a full start under your belt obviously that's up to the manager uh, I haven't played obviously this whole January but um, I'm training with the boys and, and I'm obviously I can be involved so when the gaffer's ready to pick me then um, as I'm building my fitness then as, as he sees fit thank you good luck cheers what was it about Doncaster that made you want to come uh, obviously the gaffer um, making me feel wanted and how he saw me fitting in and Obviously, I've seen how well the team's doing this season, so I wanted to just come and be a part of it. The style of play that kind of is going to suit you as yeah, well? Yeah, definitely. Um, the way that the team play, trying to play through the thirds and attacking football and something that appealed to me, definitely. I imagine it's been a fairly frustrating season for you so far. Yeah, a bit. A bit uh, you could say that, yeah, definitely. But it's a fresh start now, so um, I'm looking forward to doing more for Doncaster. And you kind of... You, you obviously did well last season. Yeah, you plenty of goals and like that. You're looking to get back to. Yeah, exactly, that sort of exactly. I think everyone here is pulling in the right direction. The same, we're all together and and want to achieve the same thing. So I'm just coming in and hopefully adding to that. How would you describe yourself as a player? Uh, obviously, I'm a striker. I like scoring goals, um, stretching in behind and and just being attacking um, threat really. So similar to there's other players that have got that as well. So I'm just coming in as well, and adding my bit. You've come in and there's plenty of competition as well. Devante Cole arriving as well in Nile Adams today, as you've seen. Yeah, of course. There's good strikers here, there's good attackers. Obviously, the, it's the team The team doing so well that, that proves that. So, like I said, we're all just contributing together and we all have a team goal. So, it's good to have it's good, good to have that. What do you think the aspiration should be for the second half of the season for, for the team? Obviously, was, we're looking upwards. So, as close as we can get to the playoffs, we want to get in there. As, as quick as we can so we just take it game by game really and then go from there